Hey, we're live on Instagram. This is good Linda morning at the yarn bar in Billings, Montana. We're gonna split be split screening with Sue any minute. So she's actually over in England right now. So we um, she is hanging out with Mike in the little tiny town of Lincolnshire, is, uh, where we'll be joining her. Maybe um, she'll let us in on what she's been up to while she's uh, been there. And really? she's here. Hey. Yay, hi. Good hi. morning. Hi, Sue. Hi. There's like a three minute delay, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I hope not a three minute one. Yeah, I was looking at the clock and Ashley texted, we're live. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> well, Matt, we were, but we just were. on the wrong platform. But yeah. now we're right. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. It's us. Okay. So, tell us what you've been up to, Sue. Um, just kind of doing back end stuff. Um, the blog and I I I sewed. I did a lot of sewing today on this Soulbind cardigan. Oh, it is I, gorgeous. Are you wearing yeah. it? I can't see you. So, oh, yeah, I've got, I do have it on. I don't have any oh. buttons to sew on it, but I, and I did a little um, video um, thing on the story. So. Oh, yeah, I saw that, your little time lapse. That was fun. Time lapse. Yeah, I did not sew that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you doing all your sewing. I've been kind of thinking about getting a new sewing machine. Um, yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, I told my husband about that, and he's like, oh, what are you going to sew? <laughs> Probably a straight line. <laughs> there you go. That's what I do best. There you go. So what have you guys been doing? Halloween was, it's been beautiful there, right? Oh yeah, the Halloween weekend was like the perfect weekend. Uh, we took Silas and Elise just to a few friends house that we knew um, and everything was fine until we realized we forgot food for Elise and at a four and four month old, I, she can't tell us she's hungry. I mean, she can tell us we're hungry <laughs> and she told us for the whole ride. Uh -oh. <laughs> but we got Silas was so cute. Yeah. He was a cute little minion. He was his first, yeah. his first trick or treat, but all he ended up saying was just holding his basket open and saying treat. It was cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. That's fine. Well, today yeah. we're going to talk about some fun notions that we have in the shop. So I hope Come you'll on. join in and, um, you know, you can't, well, you can see me probably. I can't see you. So yeah, weird. I can see you. So I'll get to see the notions. And then I know we've gotten a few new things since I left. So I will be looking at those with interest yes so <laughs> our first thing is what this yeah okay well um i don't know if everyone's heard of the company acre works we love them and they produce this really cool gadget it looks like this and what is it is this is actually a gauge swatch so i can actually show you how it works in just a second but the other parts of it they actually have um a needle sizer so this was a size eight needle and look I know that because it fit right into the size eight so it looks like gears but it just actually will measure all of your needles and then it's got a magnetic base so all of these things won't come out there's a tape measure oh. stuck on there so that can pop out but it's probably kind of difficult to take out so it's nice to just leave it there but I don't know if you want to look and see how the gauge works, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see you measure. And this actually we sell separately too. So if you don't want to get the whole kit and the caboodle, you don't have to. But basically it's got the cross. So you get to measure the rows and the stitch gauge. So you would just count. Let me get right there. So I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you got 18 okay. stitches uh, to 4 inches. And it's got these little grippies. So the nice thing is it's going to stay right there. So it's not going to move around. And then you get to count 
your rows too. Mm -hmm. So it's They're really good. handy to have. And a lot of times it's hard to just read that next to some, you know, a tape a measure. Ruler. It's harder. It's hard. So that is really cool. So we can, well, that there's something our... about that too. It's just, it somehow it's easier to, to read your gauge. I think it's because it's clear. Mm -hmm. Right. Compared to like the Susan Bates metal one, which I have both, but I don't know. There's something about that the ability to see everything with that yes, clear. I think, yeah. And I think it lets you focus right where you need to. So it's, mm -hmm. you don't, it's so easy to lose your count on a gauge slot. And then the grippy things I think are a part of that too, that just makes it better. Yeah. Pretty useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what's on? pick something it's on the right. table, pick something, anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, one thing that we've always liked were the gleaners and the gleaner is something we've had in the shop for a long time. And it's a special little item. You can shave your pits if you need to <laughs> on your sweater and it picks up. This is a new sweater, so it doesn't have any pills, but um, to really get an idea like this blanket has been very well loved. And, um, and so I'm just going along. I can see some, pills right here and look at that Whoa. oh yeah that's a good one if i did this whole blanket i'd probably have enough yarn to spin more yarn nice um, yep so and it actually comes, this different. is like a big yeah. handle one which i personally prefer that but this is nice too it has it's more of a to-go box and um so you've got different this is the one that i used just now but this one is finer and then that one's finer still. And so this one does come with the three different blades. Mm -hmm. So, but this is really nice to like pop in your purse or, and it's got a lint brush on the back. Um, so, you, or, you know, just to go. My daughters actually have started using my gleaner a lot. Oh, really? If oh. for sweatpants oh, or yeah, and actually, any type of clothing item that just looks this one right warm. here we had another gal was wearing like a pair of yoga pants mm -hmm. and you know those do get they can get pilly mm -hmm. and but you'd want to use this fine one and it does take it off and you'd be amazed at how nice those look again yeah. so uh we got a uh, recent shipment from uh brooklyn haberdashery who does um some really fun things they actually um they distribute these beautiful things from Kohana. These are these magnetic spools. Um, so I actually could, I'm hoping this works. It's sort of like a blizzard, a blizzard at the Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Those pins are not stuck in anything, really. They're, there's not a surface underneath. It's just that this is magnetic. It has a natural magnetic quality built into the clay. So it's really nice just to have next to your, you know, right next to you when you're working and it, just have a nice place to kind of just pick up things Plus, so it's really pretty. that one that's in the box is that's a holiday one so mm -hmm. it's a little special yeah, it's kind yep, of sparkly got a some, pretty gold ribbon and i think the Japanese that pit. color is unique yeah it's beautiful love it but the regular ones come in some really fun packaging I love yes. That. Well, they get like a little house. I know. There's some of that. I always want to save the box. Um, if you've ever had, if, if you've made felted slippers, if you have some old felted slippers someone gave you, if you have some slipper socks that you love, but they're getting holes in the bottom, we have that solution. So these, and we have lots of sizes. This is called Joe's Toes. It's a felted foot sole, and on the inside, on the bottom, is a non-slip sole. Cool. So you can actually sole these onto your existing slippers, or if you're making new ones, you could put these on, and they actually can hardly tell, but it's got little holes drilled all around here, so you can, they're pre-drilled, so you can sew them on, and they actually make some, this is like a waxed um, cotton, uh, thread that you would actually sew and they really recommend this because it's waxed and it kind of slides through really nice and easy they have lots of different sizes and these are just a couple three sizes and they're they're more they're pretty specific um so we just love these they come in different colors 
Sue, I, did you, you found those, didn't you? Yeah, we found, yeah, they're actually made in the UK. So um, do we, do I need to see if we can get a few more? Maybe, maybe we do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but the thing that I love about these two is you can use them on the outside but you can use them on the inside too. I've had people buy them as new insoles into their slippers. So, and they're a hundred percent wool felt. Mm -hmm. so, they're awesome. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that uh, Brooklyn Haberdashery does are these really fun bags. We just got these in Sue. Look at these cute. I love them. I oh my God, that's fun. I love these. They're called Matilda awesome. bags. Yeah, we and had them a while ago and then now they're back. Yeah, so they're kind of like a bucket bag. So you can fold it down too, but then this, it holds a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a good, that's a good sweater, really. Yeah, handy. Okay. Yeah, I think, and Kristen make, they make those. Kristen's making those. So those are, those are awesome. Yeah, I think we're pretty lucky to have found her. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, uh, we talked about um, some of these things before, but these are some great, notions that we have in the store that you could actually use for gifting so as part of your gifting so um we've got these giant pom-pom makers fun we've got a lot of sizes so and ashley actually kind of set me up with one so <laughs> so you talk while i make pom-pom sue Pom-poms. Okay, so pom-poms, you guys, great activity with kids. I know. Super like fun. To have one. So crazy with a pom-pom garland. Um, it's a great way to use up stash yarn that might be, like, overtaking an area of your house. Yeah, it would make your husband, like, feel like you really were you get going through your stash of you. <laughs> they really do use a lot of yarn. Make a you proper pom-pom. briefcase with a... Yeah. With pom-poms. Pom-poms are awesome. Um, Look easy. <laughs> so what I did beforehand is I just wrapped yarn around both sides and then closed it up. And then Linda kind of took over at the cutting part. And now she's making one tie in the middle so that when we take the pom-pom maker off, uh, it doesn't fall apart. Yep. So here we go. We're going to pick up the little teeth. And here's the moment. Drum roll. Looking good, looking good. I think I like it. There we go. Voila! How cute! Bye. And then you just give him a little haircut yeah. and trim the... Or, or not. Or you could put some little, like, eyeballs on here. <laughs> you could cut them really tight and you can make little pom-pom animals. But this would be cute on a package. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I got package trims. That's perfect. So another thing that we have is these are from Katrinkles and they're little tassel makers. They're super easy. So this one is a three inch one and Ashley wrapped it already for me. So basically you're going to just wrap the yarn around here like that. And then you're going to thread a needle. Hang on, don't want to lose that. Thread it right through there. Yep. Those are cute because she has them in little animal shapes. Yeah, they are really cute. They're different sizes. There's a three inch, a two inch, and then I guess a one inch. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to tie this up kind of like the pom-pom. And then you actually just run your scissors right here. Nice. And slide this off. A tassel. And then so you've you've got the little tie right here and yeah. then you can give that a little trim too mm -hmm. those are fun on um, the top of a hat too instead of a pom-pom i know i think uh, so too and it I, I like it's not as expected as a pom-pom and super i mean a classic thing to do is put them on like um pulls on your lamp on your toggle switch on your lamps or on your blinds um curtain tie backs I mean, you can buy them. You can make them fancy. But, yeah. Um, so um, I was using tie. my needles right here, these little tapestry needles, to kind of thread everything. But, geez, they're kind of hard to Oh. 
I'm just using the coconut slab bracelet to pick them up. <laughs> Do that again, because I think we had a blip. Oh, okay. Yeah, we kind of froze. I was trying to pick up these needles, but. Fine. Whoa, magic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So now I've got my needle. The other thing is um, maybe I have some stitch markers that I. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> so this is awesome. We love this is the, the makers keep from cocoa knits. And so there's just this thing does so many things. It's like it's another big great tool in one. So it's got the magnetic quality. So you get to wear it right on your wrist. Everybody thinks it's an Apple watch. <laughs> so that's somewhat that's a plus. Um, but the other thing is and it took me a really long time to figure this out. But there's actually a ruler on the other side. Wow. Uh -oh. I don't think you can see the markings, it's but it is. But it's there. there. And so a really great use for this, especially with the magnet right here. So like if you are trying to keep your pattern straight and you have one of those, um, I don't, I'm just going to call it a cookie sheet. <laughs> People have been known to use cookie sheets a magnetic board and so this would stick right to it and then you'd have be able to keep track of your um your chart and your pattern wouldn't keep falling down off your lap which it does to me all the time so um i just love these and they come in some really fun trendy colors yeah we've got the blue the blue and the green mm -hmm. and there's gray so yeah we just love this this just will slide too like it's pretty cool so yeah, that's a great product. The other thing they have, so we did the stitch markers, but Coco Knits does a lot of stitch markers. They're all extremely useful. They're great for all kinds of things. These all are um, different sizes. So there's the small, medium, large. There's a triangle one. And I wish I kind of knew more about the triangle one because I'm not really sure like th what's the advantage other than it's a triangle. So I'm not really sure about that. Then we have the split, the, split, uh, the split marker. And that's really nice that you can just put into your knitting so you can count your rows. You know, mm -hmm. you can put one here, you can put one here, you know, just to count your rows, to keep track of everything. So I really do, I really do like that. So um, another great little item that you, not everybody knows about is the Cocoa Knits, uh, it's the needle gauge. So, you know, usually we have the ones where we put, you know, the little wood boards, you got a hole drilled in it. And, you know, and then this is one, too, on the Acre Works thing. But this one is a lot different and it's very compact. So you can take it in the airplane if we go on an airplane. Um, well, obviously someone did. So these each have the measurement of the needle. So on here and it's got a hole. And I think this might be a. I'm going to say not a nine. Here's the eight. Yep, I bet that. But here's the seven. So let's see if it's a seven. I don't think so. Nope, won't fit. So it's definitely an eight. And it's magnified, so it'll all kind of come back together. It's like a little puzzle. That's a nice new format, really, for um, for those needle gaugers. Yeah, I feel like that, too. Is mm -hmm. there seen anything like this at all? And it's kind of one of those fidget things, too, if you want it to be. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, now that you say that, here I am. I'm fidgeting. Good fidgeter. Yep. It's multi-purpose. And then uh, we're going to talk about this other cool, we got a great big table full of some awesome things uh, today. I, feel, I really feel like I am on the, the <laughs> shopping channel right now. <laughs> You're doing great. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, very so, good. Um, we love these cases. These are from Namaste, and we thought these would be super fun. They're, this is what they call the train, the train case, or actually, maybe we should call it the planes, trains, and automobile case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because this has a lot of cool features. And actually, speaking of magnets, uh, Ashley did a little wow. research. Um, this is magnetic, this back part here. Why don't you say a little bit about what you said, um, oh, before well, about what, 
it's a pretty cool. I mean, yeah. So if you are propping your, if you're working on your project and you've got your yarn and, and project in here or tools, then you can open this up and the ribbons prevent, they were designed to prevent the top from falling all the way back. And then you put your pattern right here, uh, magnet, magnets. it'll hold it up, open and close or any, anything else you need to look at right at the top. And then there's so much room inside. You can totally get a sweater in and there. And there's a little slot right here. So you could potentially yeah, if close you, this. If you close it, you can run your yarn run your through yarn there. Right oh, through there. Yeah. And put it under the seat in front of you. Yeah, just imagine. Or if, wherever. If people yeah. are actually on a train, this could fit on the tray in front of you. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then this is designed to open um, as much as you need with all the little snaps mm -hmm. uh -huh. you can also oh. run your yarn through yeah, there you could put make it tools. as a little yarn bag mm -hmm. right and i love this little feature it's got like a little um a little notebook or you could do oh. a little, um, hey. nice. little charting or mm -hmm. game so we have it in this beautiful oh, purple i know i love this color teal teal nice lavender and one red left oh well, wow. these are these, these are some little companion things. A lot of people just like, this has the magnet face. right here too. Mm -hmm. And great for all those little um, cocoa nips things. Yeah. Fit right in yes. There. And they won't fall out they because won't. they're, mm -hmm. they're in there with a magnet. Right. Yeah. Right. So I love that. We've got the same colors in those little buddy cases. Yep. They're very cute. Um, well, since we're right here. Oh, well, those are so cute. I know. Our local artist, Eloise Oviat, she did these just for us. So the little sheep with the sweater. I really love the heart. Darling. These, they're just so sweet. Yeah. We have cute. a limited amount of these, but there's, we've got plenty, I think, for people that might want to do a little holiday decorating. Um, nice. The other last thing on the table, but not last because we've got a lot of it. So we just got in this new yarn. It's uh, Pasquale Balayage. And it is, I mean, I'm not joking. It is exquisite. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is 80% alpaca, 20% wool. It is incredible. That I, feels it's amazing. about 190 yards. And I think it can go sport or fingering. So I, and I think you can do some color work with this. It's it's actually designed with Melanie Berg, who a lot of people know. I'm like, uh, she did the spice, yeah, was, on the spice market on the spice market shawl. Mm -hmm. So she really loves shawls, and so this yarn I believe is just made for that. But the colors, and they have this beautiful depth, kind of a heathery look, and she actually has five beautiful uh, hand dyes that will coordinate with all of it. It would just, wow. it's gonna, yeah, it's, it's Beautiful. just, if you touch it, I mean, I, I've, I've dreamt about a lot of things lately, but, the, and this <laughs> is one of them. <laughs> I would really like to get my hands into this and just really get them on the needles and knit something just fabulous. Even if it's just a small shawl, something that go around my neck because mm -hmm. actually it's kind of warm out today, I think, but it was cold in the shop. So I put on my, I found my old uh, hat That's, Dana, and I, I realized it's kind of like a dickie. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the dickies back. No, those are in style, everybody. They're back. <laughs> they are. My daughter ordered one on what? Amazon. A little co white collar. You're kidding. I'm not kidding because she didn't want the bulky white button up underneath a sweater. So she just ordered. It's just the collar. And oh my gosh! It's a okay. thing. You need to do something. So wow. Arnie and Carlos right. have already put out some patterns. I yeah. On yep. that. Right. Yep. She was appalled when I said it was called a dicky. <laughs> what did she call it? I, a collar. I don't know. She did not know the old timey term. It also has to do with like Ruth Bader Ginsburg and her collar. I wonder if this just sort of a, uh, you know, mm -hmm. an extension of, of that. So okay, well it's time to open up. Yeah, we gotta open up the shop. Oh, we miss you soon. Later. See you guys later. Okay, bye. 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 Everybody. Bye.